In this video, we will learn how to connect to try Hackme Labs on Kali Linux with OpenVPN. We will also learn how to SSH into the attack box. So let's get started. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I will first open the terminal and make sure OpenVPN is installed in my system. If you do not have OpenVPN installed, then type the command sudo apt install OpenVPN and press enter. I already have OpenVPN installed in my system. After confirming OpenVPN is installed in your system, go to tryhackme.com and log in. After you are logged in, on the right side, you will see the profile icon. Click on it and click on access and you will be on this page. From here, keep machine selected and under VPN server, we have to download the configuration file. Choose the configuration file that is closest to your region. To get the fastest speed, if you're from US or Canada, choose between these three to get the fastest speed. If you're from Australia or New Zealand, choose this one. If you're from India or neighboring countries, choose the last one. And if you live on Europe, choose any of this. So for the purpose of this video, I will keep EU regular one selected and click on download configuration file. I can now confirm the file has been downloaded. I will open the directory where the file got downloaded. And this is my configuration file. Inside the directory, I will right click and click open terminal here. If I do ls, I can see this is the openvpn file. So I will type the command sudo openvpn space the name of the file. Press tab to autocomplete and press enter. If you get the output initialization sequence completed, it means that you're successfully connected to the VPN. You can also confirm by opening a new tab and typing ping 10 10 10 10 and press enter. If you get the response, it means that you're successfully connected. You can also confirm by typing IP space A and press enter. This is the interface with which I'm connected to try hack me. Now if you go to the try hack me website, and click on refresh after clicking refresh the connection status should show connected but if it does not then do not worry this is a common bug in try hack me now that you're connected to try hack me we can ssh into the attack box so choose any of the room and in each of the room you will have the ip of the attack box and the ip of the target machines so i will first start the attack box and then i will start the target machine while this is setting up i just want to quickly mention if you're trying to do try hack me labs it is very important that you're familiar with Kali Linux commands. So if you want to master Kali Linux commands, then click the first link in the description box and you will get the complete Kali Linux cheat sheet for beginners. This cheat sheet has all the commands that you need to become comfortable with the terminal. So if you get stuck, you can quickly refer to this cheat sheet. So click the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. After your target machine and attack box boots up, you can SSH into the attack box. So click on this I information icon and I can see this is my username and this is my IP. So I will copy the IP, open my terminal and type SSH space the username which was root at the rate, paste the IP and press enter and you will get this prompt if by any chance you do not get this prompt and after typing this command your output does not show anything then type the command that you see at screen right now i will also leave these comments in the description box so copy and paste these comments so after ssh ask for a password open the try hack me website again click on the information icon and you will see the password so copy the password and then paste it and press enter and as you can see i'm connected to the try hack me attack box I can attack the target IP address by copying the IP and you can do all your labs like this. Now just few quick notes before I end the video. You can directly access the target IP address if you're connected to VPN. This video is for those who want to SSH into the attack box first without any error. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.